COVID-19 pandemic had a huge effect on the lives of children and young people in Leeds. Today, many children are still living with the impact of the pandemic. Particularly in deprived areas. This is our story. And the story of our families. In our own words. In our shoes. My great granddad died during COVID. It was very sad and I didn't get to see him before he died. Both my parents were key workers, so I got to go to school. I did a lot of work in school, so I didn't really feel left behind. I really missed my friends. My eighth birthday was on a Zoom call, so I felt really special and really loved. I was pregnant with James in lockdown. It was a bit upsetting because my partner couldn't attend the important parts like this scan. Once I had James, he never saw a health visitor until he was two years old. James, his speech is delayed due to COVID. I think because we didn't interact with other families and young children. He's got a lot of time for adults and not children of his own age group. But lockdown gave me a lot more time to spend with James and form a real bond. We played hide and seek a lot with our dad. Dad couldn't work, so we spent lots of time with him, which was nice. <laughs> My nanny died of COVID. It was sad. My little sister was born in the pandemic, but she was in hospital all the time. She was very ill. She's better now and we can play with her, so it's great. It was pretty sad during lockdown, but there were some good bits. Doing schoolwork was horrible, but then when we'd finished, we got to do things like workout videos and learning British Sign Language. It was pretty depressing in lockdown. I felt like I had to grow up really fast. Felt quite detached, quite anxious for the future. I'm glad it's over now. We get to go out more and see friends, live our lives. I like to go to youth theatre. And if I get in, I like to go to Performing Arts College. Who knows what the future holds? 